In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create a YouTube video thumbnail using Canva. So when you log into your Canva account, the first thing you want to do is go up the top here to create design. You want to type in YouTube and then you get a few options including channel art, uh, logo, etc, etc. We want to choose YouTube thumbnail. Now this isn't necessarily the resolution I recommend, but for this case, in, in order to be quick, we're going to actually choose YouTube thumbnail. Uh, otherwise, you can simply go 1920 by 1080 and create a custom design. But there's a reason I want to go here. So I click on YouTube thumbnail. Now, before I even get started trying to design one, you can see there's a bunch of templates here we can choose from. A lot of these are being sort of repeated, but uh, you can actually go through and choose one of these templates. And I'm going to show you how to do it from scratch in a minute. But if you want to, you can also find something like a... Uh, you know, we've got beauty and all these different uh, different sort of categories we can go to. I'm going to go, well, we got here all results. So you can see where we have all of the thumbnail templates available. So you can see that's all pretty good. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose, say, this thumbnail here. You can see it's actually a part of Pro. One thing you should realize if there's a little crown there, that is a Pro thumbnail. So we're gonna look for a free thumbnail that doesn't have the crown attached. So maybe something like this one here. And I can go through and make my changes as I see fit. I can change this to you know, how to win or something like that. How to win with and I can go through and change some objects. So if I click on this image here, I can choose to upload. So I can go upload media. I can pop a photo of myself in there if I want to. I can even remove this and drag this image into that spot there. And then I can move it around if I want to. And I can then take this and resize that so it fits a certain size. I can also change colors by clicking on this background here. There's a color swatch up here. I can change that to black. I can also change this text here by going up and changing it to white and I can go through change the thickness or even change the font by clicking up here in the font and picking a font like that. So that's a quick way if you want to edit There's a little logo here we can get rid of that too. If you want to edit an existing template you can actually just go through and make those changes by clicking on the objects you want. You've got your settings up the top here you can change your font size color and all that kind of stuff there switching out images and going from there. But let's just wipe this clean and say we're starting fresh. So if we are starting fresh and maybe we don't even have our own images, you know how to upload images by going to uploads over here, but maybe we are going to work with finding an image first and going from there. So I'm going to go to elements and I can search for a photo. So let's say I'm doing a skateboarding. Um, some kind of skateboarding video. This looks like a pretty good image. That looks like, that looks like. Let's go with this one here. Now, just so you know, there is a link to a playlist below. It shows you how to do, how to use Canva for basic editing, image editing, all of that. So you can actually get more in depth if you want to by checking out that playlist linked to below. But let's say we've got our image here and we're pretty happy with that. And again, what we can do, we can even have that be the whole image. Um, but let's just go through a few ideas of what we can do. So I'm going to go to elements here and I'm going to go back to graphics. I can choose this. Actually, I'm thinking more like shape. So we're going to actually X that. We've got lines and shapes. And we can choose something pretty unique. It doesn't have to be like a, a square or anything too boring. So let's say we want to get this image here. I pop that in. I want the curve to be on the side so I can rotate that around. I can even give it a bit of an angle, extend it, enlarge it, and just sort of move it into place until I'm happy with it. Now, that color kind of fits the image, but if I want to choose a different color, such as here, maybe something like that that really stands out, I can do that. Now, another cool effect we can do is uh, we're going to type in, I know nothing about skating, so I'm just going to say how to skate and move that across. I'm not a big fan of that font. I'm gonna choose something a little taller. Once again, we can go through here, pick something like Bebas New, or we can choose Anton. 
and I'm going to enlarge that out, make it nice and big. And the problem is it's a bit difficult, difficult to read. If I decide to make the color of the text white, it's still, it's easier, but it's still not perfect. And it's also cutting over him a bit. So I'm going to resize that. I'm going to actually draw a box to go behind this. So once again, I go back to elements, grab a box, like a square, and I'm going to add that in there. So I click off these elements and click the box. It's free. Oh, we've got some stuff going on here. Let's just get rid of this for now. Click on this box and I can actually pop the box in behind that text. If it does show up in front of the text, I can actually right click on the box, send back until it ends up behind that text. So now we have this text box. I'm thinking that perhaps more of a darker color. So let's just go this way, choose like a very dark green. And we can actually hold down shift. We can multiple select items by holding down shift. And I can even rotate that if I want to. And then if I want to, I can even duplicate it. I go here to duplicate. And then I can add in something else like how to skate like a pro. And then maybe I decide I want to choose another font. So you're just going to go through, pick out uh, what you want to do, or something a bit different like that. I'm going to make this font yellow. I'm going to make this box. Now, when you've got a few items there, you might have to click around a little bit, but we're going to make that box black. Resize it a bit to fit. And then once again, I hold down shift and I can just rotate things around to get this nifty effect. So we created this thumbnail pretty easily and I can still move this image and you can see we've got a pretty cool effect. But another thing you can do, you can change the style a bit. Let's get rid of this. We can move that image over and center it a bit more. And maybe we just drag a box to select these items and we move them down here, move this image, maybe move the image up. Now you might find it goes to a background like this. Just right click detached image for background. And then we're going to resize this, make it quite large. And then we can send backwards or send to the back. We can set as a background. I'm just going to say send to the back. Now, what I can do also is edit this image, which means I have filters and adjustments I can make. So I can go through and pick an effect. I can make it black and white. And I can then say, remove this box or perhaps maybe remove this box and sort of move that around. Maybe I want to increase the size of the box. You can sort of get the idea. The idea is to go through, have a play until you get the result you want. Now, one thing to consider is you want the text to stand out. So before you actually go ahead and export this, which we'll show you in a minute, it can be good to zoom out. So I zoom right out. It's like I'm viewing this on my phone. I think that text is a bit small, doesn't stand out. So I can drag, select and resize the whole thing. I think, okay, that now stands out. So it's always good to check these things and make sure they stand out when being viewed small because many people are on their phones and viewing their designs that way. Once you're ready to go and you're happy to save it, go up the top to share. Uh, sorry, you can then download here. It says here PNG, I would just say JPEG. Click download and it will export a file for you slowly over here. When you're done, you can save that file and upload it to YouTube. So I hope you found that video useful. Uh, just quick and easy. Like I said, if you want to get into the nitty gritty of how to do editing in Canva, check out the playlist below. I'll also pop a video on the screen now to show you how to get started. And uh, that'll show you how to make all those little changes and get everything looking exactly the way you want. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.